Hello everybody, thanks for joining me today on the Moneybag 73 channel. Well, as Americans prepare to put football tickets on their credit cards and get ready to watch their favorite fall programs on TV, the Chinese are continuing to import massive amounts of gold. And while too many people don't know why you would want to have any of the shiny yellow metal that is just that according to a lot of financial advisors uh, they imported 113 tons in July J uh, China has now imported 819 tons in 2013 they're on track to import over a thousand tons that'll put them beyond India as the largest gold importer in the world China is already the largest gold producer in the world there's going to be something coming down the line. I believe there's going to be a gold back you want at some point. This is, you know, this is extremely important. And most people have no idea that this is going on. I want to put this in perspective for you, everybody. Japan's official number is 765 tons that they hold in gold reserves in their country. China has imported more than all of Japan's gold in the first seven months of 2013. So they're importing, excuse the pun, tons of gold into China. And most Americans and probably most people around the world, they have no clue that this is even going on. And I also wanted to say, we haven't heard China's official gold holding since 2009. It's 1,054. And there's this one site that I use on my blog. By the way, I'll, I'll uh, put a link down below to the article about this gold imports. And I'll have that linked up in moneybagsworld.com blogspot.com and there's a widget on my blog that I use that shows China with 131 million ounces I believe it's like 4,000 tons and it's been like that for a year so why they have them at 4,000 tons maybe they're using some data I don't know I believe their official gold holdings is probably by now around three or four thousand tons probably half of what the US claims they have but you know that's the IMF allows central banks to claim the gold on hold on on hand and the gold out on lease on the same line item as you know as that you actually have the gold and so whatever's leased out they claim that they have so um, that's a whole nother topic but I don't believe the gold's there so that's it everybody, uh, China importing tons of gold and most people have no idea why they would want to even have any. Um, but hey, the gold bubble popped, right? I mean, we, we all just realized that it's just a yellow metal and it's not safe to get into at any price. Um, I love seeing those guys on TV talking about how the gold bubble popped, how the silver bubble popped. Uh, that reminds me, I didn't do a video on it. I might still do it, but 33.75 million uh, silver eagles sold uh, so far this year. That beats last year's total, so should have no problem at all being a record year for U.S. Mint Silver Eagle sales. Maybe I'll throw that into the title. I mean, there's just so much going on right now, but the bubble popped. Uh, you know, when bubbles pop, no reason to want to be involved in that. Like, remember the housing bubble popped? We didn't want to be involved in that for three years or so. So, um, nonsense just total nonsense these people talking about bubbles popping there's some big bubbles you you might be witnessing 
the beginning of, of a bond bubble, the largest bubble in the world, in history, popping as interest rates just hit 3%. I'm so happy and lucky that I grabbed a 3.25% 30-year fixed on the house uh, that I just got in May. I, mean, I was right near getting the lowest interest rate ever in history. It dropped to a half hour later, my loan agent told me, to 3.12. Now, I only put down 18% or 17%. I didn't quite have the 20%, so I have to carry a private mortgage insurance, which is killing me I was gonna try and do another refi to get rid of that but rates shot up on me so at least that's tax deductible and looks like I'll be stuck with it now but I did get a 3.25 percent 30 year fixed that's like the lowest of I know of anybody that I know and they just hit 4.67 today on a conventional loan so interest rates are moving up uh, you're supposed to hear about some tapering I don't see how the hell they're going to taper. The 30-year fix will easily be past 5%, any type of taper. There's going to be a total bloodbath. I don't see it. I see next week either leaving things the same or setting the stage for ramping it up. There's just no way around it. So anyhow, uh, that's it for now, everybody. Take care. I'll be doing another video soon.